Hi friends, welcome to CSCPedia. In the previous classes, we discussed about the binary to octal conversion and the vice versa that is octal to binary conversion. So what exactly we did there? So for converting from binary to octal conversion, as we know octal is A, that is 2 power 3. So we divide it into 3 divisions. Right. Now our next conversion is binary to hexadecimal. So what is binary to the base 2? What is hexadecimal to the base 16? So in order to convert from binary to hexadecimal, I need to show my hexadecimal in binary perspective. So my hexadecimal is 16. So what is 16? In order to represent this in binary format, that is 2 power 4. So 2 power 4 equal to 16, right? So I need to divide the integer part and fractional part in such a way that is divided uh, with four divisions each. So that means I require four spaces. So here I am converting from binary to hexadecimal, right? So the dot which we have is binary point, and after converting to hexadecimal, the dot which we call as a hexadecimal point. So let us take an example here. So let me take a binary number here to the base 2. So here what I need to do as we know hexadecimal is 16 that means 2 power 4. So this point is called binary point. So I need 4 divisions here. So I require 4 places. So this is integer part and this is fractional part. So for integer part I divide with 4 starting from LSP. So 1 0 1 1. So this is 1 division. Next 0 1 0 1. This is another division. So now I left with 1 0 1. So what I need here? I need 1 0 here. Why? Because I require 4 divisions here. So I inserted 1 0 at the integer part in MSP. So coming to fractional part. So I have 0 1 0. So no need to insert. Okay. So this is one part. So now we need to convert this to hexadecimal, right? So converting from binary to hexadecimal, as you know, hexadecimal is 60, that is 0 to 15. So how to convert this? So for this case, I require an 8421 code. So what is 8421 code here? So 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 2, 14, 14 plus 1, 15. So 0 to 15. So I require code in such a way that it should accept 0 to 15. So I will start from 0 to 15. To write an 8421 code, I will explain an easy method. So as we know, uh, 8421 is total 0 to 15 that is 16. So we are writing for hexadecimal, right? So for 16, the half is 8. So first, in MSP, I will take 8 zeros along with 8 ones. So 8 plus 8 total 16. So starting from 8 zeros, 8 ones. So half of 8 is 4. So 4 zeros. 4 ones, 4 zeros, 4 ones. Half of 4 is 2. 2 zeros, 2 ones, 2 zeros, 2 ones. And half of 2 is 1. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So I will repeat it once again. So first I will take 8 zeros, 8 ones. So 8 plus 8, 16. So half of 8 is 4, right? So 4 zeros, 4 ones, 4 zeros, 4 ones. And half of 4 is 2, right? So 2 zeros, 2 ones, 2 zeros, 2 ones. And half of 2 is 1, right? So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 
15. So it's an easy method. So you can write from 0 to uh, 50, that is 16 digits. So the first number is 0101. 0, 1. So you can compare it. 0101, 0, 1, that is 5. Next 1010. 1, so 1010, 1, 10. So how to write an hexadecimal? As we know, hexadecimal is from 0 to 9. I can easily write 0 to 9. So after 9, the 10th will become A. And 11th is represented as B. And 12th is represented as C. And 13th is represented as D. And 14th is represented as E. And 15 is represented as F. So this is the format for hexadecimal. So 0 to 9, that's, uh, that's not, not a problem. After 9, we should not write 10. So in the place of 10, I should write A. In the place of 11, B. In the place of 12, C. In the place of 13, D. In the place of 14, E. In the place of 15, F. So 1010 is 10, right? So in the place of 10, I will write A. Next. 1101. So what is 1101 here? So 1101 is D. So D. What is 0101 here? So 0101 is 5. So what is the final result here? 5 A D dot 5 the base 16. So I hope you understood. So I will take another example so, so that you can get a clear idea on how to convert from binary to hexadecimal. So I took in another example here. 10110101010101 dot 10101011. So as I already explained the previous example, so I need to divide this binary into uh, with four numbers, right? So starting from the binary point, 1010 is one part, 1101 is another part, 0110 is another part. So I left with only one. So I should insert three zeros to make it as four. So I inserted three zeros. So coming to the fractional path, one zero one zero is one part. I left with one zero one. So I require only one zero to make it as four. So I already explained how to have an eight four two one code. The first number is triple zero one. That is one zero double one zero six one zero one one. So what is 1011 here? B 0101 5 dot 1010 So what is 1010 here? A Next 1010 Again A Right So in this manner my final hexadecimal number is 16B5 dot a A to the base 16. So in this way, I convert from binary number to hexadecimal number. Now, this dot is called hexadecimal point. So previously it was binary number, right? So it is called a binary point. Now, we converted that to hexadecimal, right? So this point is called an hexadecimal point. So I hope you clearly understood how to convert from binary to hexadecimal. Now, we will see how to convert from hexadecimal to binary. So, converting from hexadecimal to binary in the sense, to the base 16 2 to the base 2 so to the base 16 to the base 2 okay so let me take an hexadecimal number here so 5a b6 dot c3 so this dot is called hexadecimal point. So here we need to convert from hexadecimal to binary. So in order to convert from hexadecimal to binary, which I already explained in the octal to binary conversion, the what we need to do is here, we need to check for leading zeros and trailing zeros. So 
if we have any leading zeros in MSP, just remove those leading zeros, and if we have a trailing zeros in uh, LSP, just remove those trailing zeros so that we can easily get our binary number. So coming to 5, we already have a code here, right? So what is 5 here? 0, 1, 0, 1. So what is A here? 1, 0, 1, 0. So what is B here? 1, 0, 1, 1. What is 6 here? 0, double 1, 0. So what is C here? Double one, double zero. So what is three here? Double zero, double one. So as we know, first we are uh, what we need to do here. If we have any leading zeros in MSB, just remove those leading zeros. If we have any trailing zeros in LSB, just remove those trailing zeros. So coming to MSB here, I have a one leading zero. So this is one leading zero. Just remove this leading zero. So now check. Do I have any trailing zero? I don't have any trailing zero here. Just keep as it is. So after removing the leading zero, what is my final binary number? So this is my final binary number after removing leading 0. So in this way we convert from hexadecimal to binary number. So the point is very clear here. So what we need to check is after converting, after substituting the binary number of particular hexadecimal number, we need to check for uh, do we have any leading zeros or trailing zeros. So leading zeros will always be checked at MSB and trailing zeros will be checked at LSB. So if you have any leading zeros, just remove those leading zeros and if you have any trialing zeros, just remove the trialing zeros and note the binary number as it is. So we get final binary number. So in this way, we convert from hexadecimal to uh, binary. So in the next classes, we will discuss about how to convert from one radix to another radix. As we know, the radix is base here. How to convert from one radix to another radix. So for converting from decimal number to binary, or from decimal number to octal or from decimal number to hexadecimal so we have two major methods here the first method is successive division so successive division is for integer part and successive multiplication is for fractional part so in my next class I will explain those topics are most most important decimal to binary, decimal to octal, decimal to hexadecimal. So here we follow two methods that is successive division and successive multiplication. So that's the most important concept. So if you like my channel, please like my videos, please share my videos and please comment on my videos. And most important is please do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.